A man picks out 12 random strangers and let them dish out his £100,000 inheritance to a poor area. I'm going to read into this from Lad Bibles, you guys. Let's go. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Lee here with another good vibes, good news story. And this one is from the Lad Bible with the headline that a man has picked out 12 random strangers and let them dish out his £100,000 in heritage to poor areas. So because of um, where this article is from, I'm going to just go out on a limb and say just take this story with a pinch of salt, I would say. Um, and I'm not saying it's not true, but I'm very cautious about certain websites where I get... Um, good news stories but if this is a true story I'm gonna say this is absolutely fantastic and we're gonna go on the premise that the story is true but I'm just a little bit precautious about about uh, where I'm getting this from but we'll see I'll let you guys judge whether you think the story is real or not but let's just go on the premise that the story is real so first of all obviously um, it's a very um, so why would somebody just pick out 12 random strangers uh, to, to decide what to do with, with his inheritance. This is an interesting uh, thing. But to the poor areas as well. So this is an, an interesting set, a set of circumstances. So I think we need to kind of read a little bit into it before we kind of jump to conclusions about about this story, guys. So, so a man who received £100,000 of inheritance gave it to 12 strangers and let them decide what to do with the money instead. A 34-year-old researcher and delivery driver, David Clark, said he already had enough money to live on. So instead he went to do his bit to tackle inequality in his local area. Oh, okay. So it's obviously this is a story from the UK. And the man's uh, 34-year-old uh, man, he's already claiming that he had enough money to live on. The top tick man wanted to, wanted to put more power in his community's hand and decided to pick a dozen people who get to decide what the money would go on. Interesting. Okay. Of the 600 people David wrote to, only 38 responded, and he picked 12 at random to decide what to do with the money, credit, wealth, share. So this is a picture, of obviously, of the people making the decision then. He wrote to 600 households in LA area of Liverpool and got 38 people writing back, as the most reckon, as most reckoned it was some sort of scam. 12, uh, David then picked 12 people at random from those who responded and got them together to decide how the money should be spent, with only one rule being they weren't allowed to spend it on themselves. Which would make sense, um, because, you know, if, if um, what, you don't want to just give it to random people and then they just go and spend it on themselves. So the whole point of it is obviously giving back, is it? that's his premise, but he's not quite sure. I think he's done this, and I'm going out on a limb, obviously we'll continue reading, but I think he's done this because... He's not quite sure what to do with the money and how to go about it. And, and he could have just gone and gifted it to a charity. But he's thinking, uh, what if I, you know, let, let me ask a couple of, like a bunch of strangers in the community area and see, see what we can, see what's best to do with the money, I think is what he's, he's put it. So rather than making them actually take money and take the money for themselves, put um, help the him decide what to do with that money and how to best uh, distribute it to to the community. The group side, they wanted to help tackle poverty in the area and picked four organisations which would receive an equal split of the £100,000. Okay. They chose a community centre called the Florence, the School Network, Dingle, Granbury and Tocic Collaborates, Children's Charity Team Oasis and finally the Gransbury and Tocic Development Trust. After discussing where would the money go during June and July last year, each group got £25,000 from David's inheritance to spend how they like. What? Wait. Oh no, sorry, I'm going mad now. I oh, know. So they they each so he picked four organisations. They all got twenty five thousand pounds from 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 it. Everyone who showed up to all the sessions to discuss uh, what to do also received a two hundred bonus to say thanks for the time and effort putting in to figure out what to do with Dave's what Dave's money could do. Wow! So he even gave them all two hundred pound bonus. That's very generous. Ah. I both think they were told that, were they? 
until the end to kind of tell tell to see like how, how like how much you guys actually care that's very nice the 33 year old charted his fundraising journey through a wealth share site he set up and david said he'd love to support anyone doing the same thing that's awesome i like this this is that sounds that's really awesome and they got a photo there of wealth shared there by some measure the l8 postcode is one of the most deprived parts of the country among those dozen chosen to make the call on where the money went it was agreed that dishing it out locally was the right thing to do as for what uh, that money will do. The Dingle, Granbury and Toxic Collective said their share would go on towards it, helping improve the lives of the roughly 1,000 children in their care. They've said that they've never known it so bad as far as financial pressures on schools goes. They have been to having to organise uh, whip rounds with staff trying to cover all the costs. The school network says also said food breaks operating on school premises and rise of demand in the school. But so there you go. If you inherited some money and you don't really... Uh, need maybe you ought to give Dave's idea a go to see what some of the neighbours uh, thought. So this is a very nice little story. It's a nice one. Um, will help make a big uh, make a difference. It's not going to make a massive dent in terms of what's happening in terms of the cost of living and whatnot. But it's 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 extremely generous of him to to say the least to to do it. And I find it so fascinating that he it's a fascinating way of doing it as well because he, he picked out. 12 strangers to, to, to do it as well which was um but in the end it was like it wasn't for nothing they actually got something in the end of it for contributing and um and anyway when you get a lot uh, get emails or phone calls or whatever the nine times out of ten they are scammers so you, you're not really gonna respond to them are you unless you, you're expecting so unless you're expecting a call or whatever from a random number so you're not really 100 percent sure but in the end it turned out that you know this was actually for a good cause and, and it and it made a difference so um so i fair play to him for, for doing it it's a nice little story anyway if it is true but yeah what did you guys think of this story what did you think of the of his way of doing it picking out 12 random strangers um to, to make the decision um i thought it was a, it's still it's still a lovely story nonetheless that it got handed out but I, it's a bit of a, a a different way of uh of dealing with inheritance money to say the least of how how to distribute it fairly and whatnot but let me know what you guys thought of this story in the comment section down below. It's still a great story because it's still helping out others in a way as well. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the like button, be greatly appreciated. Share it across social media so others are notified of this video. And subscribe because it really has helped support the channel. So I hope to catch you all very, very soon.